Marigold. It's our own brand of wonderful garden and patio things, and these are called grow bags. So it's a set of two canvas grow bags. If you think about it, you know, most people, you just assume you have to grow something in an actual you know, container kind of thing, but this is your container. You'll get two bags. One is a little smaller, one is a little larger. Um, it, I would call them large and medium. There's nothing small really about them because this is the large one and then this would be like the medium one. And they're so cute. We have actually three different designs to choose from. This is the strawberry design. And then we'll show you the other two designs of the marigold or the succulents. That's the marigolds and there's the succulents. Now the marigolds are the most limited. So um, uh, how many? For, for the 470 of the succulents and then a few more in the strawberries. So if you want to be able to get these, these are really cool and I want to bring in Jennifer Baker right away. She is just a terrific woman, very creative and gives us <laughs> so many great ideas of what to do with all these different products from Marigold. So hello Jennifer, good afternoon. Hi, long time no talk. We I were just know. on the phone with each other earlier. <laughs> we were. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> hey. We were having a good time. But um We were. You know, this is really like a planter, but in a canvas bag, right? That's exactly what it is. It is literally a bag that you grow stuff in. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it sounds like. So this is made of 100% cotton canvas, and you're getting a set of two. So the large one is 18 and a half inches tall. That's this one. And then the smaller one is 16 and a half inches tall. And you're right. It's like a large and a medium situation. There's nothing small mm -hmm. about the 16 and a half inch tall one. Yeah. So why would you want to use a canvas bag, a canvas grow bag over a plastic pot or a ceramic pot to grow your herbs in or yeah. your flowers or anything else. Well, the reason is the fabric. Cotton is very breathable. My dress is cotton. We wear it mm -hmm. because it allows oxygen to come in and out and it's very cooling, right? Yeah, right? Well, the same thing, that breathability is also built into a grow bag. So when the roots of your plant are growing out to the sides of the bag, mm -hmm. they'll sense oxygen there because it's <sighs> breathable. And instead of growing down to the bottom and circling around and becoming root bound, your roots will actually stop growing, which sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing. And they'll start <laughs> branching out yeah. and they'll get more diversified and they'll have a more fibrous root system, which leads to an overall healthier plant. Wow. Not only that, these are really easy to move around. We mm -hmm. have two handles on them. They're very flexible because they're made mm -hmm. of canvas. They're easy to store, so when you're done, dump out your soil, hose it out, and look, I can't do this with a ceramic pot to no. store it away for the winter time. Good I can't point. hold it. <laughs> yeah, and you know, the whole thing is both of these bags, I want to give you the size overall, like you said, 18 and a half inches by 13 by 11. So you've got a nice big bag. This one, 16 and a half by 10 by 11. And the thing is now, obviously I've got the strawberries, there's the marigolds and also the succulent ones, but these are clearance price. They were $21 for the set of two. It's now $15.75 for the set of two. So that's about $5 savings. But you can literally break it down to five monthly payments of $3 15 cents a month if you want to and I liked what you said you know I mean it's kind of like to me if you're gonna plant flowers it might be in a big pot or it might be in the ground or whatever but especially if you are doing herbs and things like that I just think that is a terrific idea because whether you're growing a certain kind of lettuce or it's basil or it's mint or it's, you know, any of those kind of like onion grass or, or whatever it might be, it's nice to be able to have them in bags like this that then you can actually keep basically right outside your door. Yes. And I have a few other grow bags right outside of my porch door where I am right now. I'm growing tomatoes in one of them. Oh. I have a 
bamboo stake that I tied my little tomato plant to. So you can put support systems in here, like mm -hmm. a cage or a stake. Yeah. This happens to be all fragrant herbs like sage and uh, lavender. Right. These were as small as the ones you just saw in those photos. They were itty bitty and I did them at the beginning of the season and now look at how big they are they're so I, happy in their um, little grow bag yes i'm so proud of them you <laughs> should be because i'm telling you what that probably what was that like six weeks ago eight weeks ago maybe that you planted those yeah i would say closer to six uh -huh. um, and it didn't take them very long and right. i can real quick put them outside and let them get sun i can bring yeah. them in if there's going to be a storm and Right. What if you are a renter or a townhome owner yeah. or you live in a condo and you don't have like a huge plot of land to right. plant things in the ground? Mm -hmm. You can do container gardening. Yeah, you and don't you have much do storage it. area for those ceramic right. pots and such. Exactly. Let me quickly show you yep. the designs. These are the strawberries. You're getting two. It's very popular. It's beautiful. I love this idea. Plus, hose them out at the end of the season. Yes. How cool is that? Here's the yes. marigolds. Four dozen left of the set of two marigold bags. And then we also have the succulents. And those we have a few more of too. So you decide what a nice gift too, but you're definitely getting at a clearance price. Once they're gone, they're gone. And there's not that many of any of them left. Now, coming up a little bit later, we've got something else coming up from Marigold with Jen.